Hey guys, it's the Swell Cloth here today, and so there's some Monster Legends released video. I have a bunch of new leaked monsters, including a brand new moveset and some new leaked events. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so the first leak we have is for Pyroelectrica, which is going to be the new Tails monster for Women's Day. And we have her traits right here. She's going to have Hardened, Tough, and a 33% damage shield, which is honestly not that good. Since, of course, Tough gets replaced with Hardened, it's Pretty much like she only has two traits, which is kind of eh. And then we have an upcoming monster. His name is Bull Skundun, and he is going to be a PvP monster, and he is going to be Thunder Element. So yeah, I cannot wait to see what he looks like and what his moves are. And then we have Pyroelectrica's description if you want to go ahead and read that. And then we have her moves right here. So she's going to be a Thunder Tank with Damage Mirror, Shock, and Ignite. And she has a low Thunder Damage to one enemy with Shock. She has a 50% Damage Mirror to one ally with a 75% Damage Mirror to herself. That move actually seems really good. She has an AoE 50% damage mirror, which is pretty cool. She also has a single target ignite and AoE ignite that doubles her maximum life, which is pretty cool. So yeah, she's got some pretty interesting moves and she seems pretty decent. So definitely go and try to get her out of her tails challenge. And then we have a new marathon monster right here. We have his adult design, which we have not seen before. It looks okay. I like the baby design a little bit more, but this one doesn't look bad at all. It looks pretty cool. And then we have a enter the faction coliseums page so this is what it is going to look like in the game this is a little notification and yeah it looks pretty cool this is the emblem for the faction coliseum on both the left and the right and yeah looks pretty cool cannot wait to try out this event and it will most likely be happening next season so yeah definitely look forward to that and then we have some conjuring changes so it looks like there's going to be updated double odds for ancestors which is great and it also looks like there's going to be inside of the normal gotcha you'll be able to get ancestors with lower odds so you'll actually be able to get ancestors with the normal conjuring tickets which is great but it also looks like they're making it so that you can't get seasonal tickets out of the maze anymore which was the best way to get seasonal tickets so since you'll be able to get them out of the normal gotcha i'm guessing that they'll just replace the seasonal tickets with the normal gotcha tickets and it looks like oh seasonal tickets are only going to be available through buying with real money so pretty much what they're doing is they're raising the odds inside of the seasonal ticket gotcha. They're making seasonal tickets only cost money. You cannot get them free to play. And they're adding ancestors to the normal gotcha section. And they're going to make the normal gotcha tickets replace the seasonal tickets in all the events. Which I guess is okay. I mean, it depends on what the chances are of getting the ancestors out of the normal gotcha are. And by the way, with only doubled odds, I don't think that's worth real money at all. They would have to raise the odds by way more than double for it to be worth it. Yeah, I guess it's fine. I'm not really sure how that's gonna work, but I'm sure we will find out. So yeah, that is gonna be it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe more videos like this. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about all of these changes, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.